Hello, welcome back to Fleet Signal, my name is Alex. Welcome to episode 5 of how to play Firestorm Planetfall. In this episode we're going to look at the turn sequence, the pre-turn phase and movement. So let's get straight into it. Ok, so let's have a look at how a game of Planetfall actually breaks down. So a game of Planetfall um, consists of a number of game turns, much like many other war games. And these game turns each have a number of phases, which are the pre-turn phase, which I'm going to talk about in a moment, the activation phase, which is where you move and shoot with your models, and the end phase, which is where you check for game end, um, you check for damage due to disorder markers, and general housekeeping you know, before the next turn happens. So let's have a look at how the pre-turn phase breaks down. So the pre-turn phase consists of three steps that must be completed in order. The first of these is the tax segment. This is where you play um, tax, which are tactical action cards. If you have them, if you want to play them, then you know right at the start of the turn, this is when you play them. After that, you have the late arrivals segment. Now, this is mostly scenario based, so you probably won't have to do this too often. But if you are playing a scenario that has late arrivals, in other words, reserves, then this is the point of the turn where you play them. And to, to bring on your late arrivals, if you are playing a scenario that has them, you basically um, take 2d6, roll them, add your tactics bonus, and whoever rolls highest gets to bring on their first late arrival. Finally, for the pre-turn phase, we have roll for initiative. So to roll for initiative, you take 2d6, you roll them, you add your tactics bonus on top of that, and whoever has the highest roll, gets to go first in the turn. Um, you might also have tact cards that affect um, opposed tactics tests, which is what initiative rolls actually are. So for example, expert tactician adds plus two to any opposed tactics test this turn. So it would add plus two to your roll on top of your tactics bonus. They do stack. So after you've rolled for initiative and you found who's gonna go first in the turn, then you can move on to the activation phases. So each activation phase is split up into movement, close quarters battle, or CQB, and main ordnance. And there's also um, a consolidation step at the end of each of these, which is basically general housekeeping before you move on to the next part of the activation. In this episode, we're going to have a look at movement. How do you actually move models around the board in Planetfall? In Planetfall, there are two different types of basic movement which are the cruise move and the flat out move. And you'll find these on, the pro on each profile um, for each model as two numbers separated by a slash. So as an example of a cruise move, if I wanted to move this Trojan cyber warfare tank for the directorate and do a cruise move with it, then first of all, I would look up its cruise move, which is seven under the MV stat on its model, on its model profile. And then I could simply take a tape measure, or in this case, I'm going to use the Planetfall template, and simply move it however many inches I want to. So in this case, I'm going to move it four inches up the board and leave it there. As I've done a cruise move with this element, I can still shoot with its weapons. However, if I did a flat out move with this element, then I wouldn't be able to shoot its weapons. There are some elements in Planetfall that can shoot after a flat-out move, but they do tend to be pretty rare. As an example of a flat-out move, I've rearranged the models here just so I can easy, more easily show you how to do a flat-out move. Um, you simply do the same thing as a cruise move. You use either the Planetfall template or a tape measure or whatever you have for measuring, a ruler maybe, and simply move the model just like you did for a flat-out move However, you have to move it further than your cruise move if you're going to do a flat out move. So in this case, this Retaliator Medium Crawler's um, flat out move is 11 inches. So I'd have to move it further than seven inches. So here I'm moving it eight inches up the board. So that would count as a flat out move. So that Retaliator would now not be able to fire weapons because it's done a flat out move. Okay, now there are actually some things that I skipped um, while showing you how to move units in Planetfall. The first thing you have to do is to check coherency. So every model must be within two inches of every other model if they're on the ground, 
and every flying model must be within 4 inches of every other model in that squadron. This is called the coherency distance, and during movement, if any models are out of coherence, in other words, if any ground models are outside of 2 inches to every other model in their squadron, and if any, any flying models are more than 4 inches away from other models in their squadron, then they must move back into coherency during their movement segment, during their movement. If they don't, then they will suffer disorder markers at the end of their movement. So dis because disorder markers turn into damage you know, in the end phase, it's a really good idea to move them back into coherency as soon as you can. Now, as well as a cruise move and a flat out move, there are other things that models can do in the movement segment of their activation. They can do a ramming action, which as like it sounds, it's basically ramming another model. They can do an embark move, which is embarking into a vehicle or occupying a building. They can disembark from a building or a vehicle, or they can remain stationary. And this unlocks two additional actions, which are overwatch and focused fire. But whatever you choose to do with your models, with that squadron during its activation, you have to declare what you're going to do at the start of the movement. Another important thing to remember about movement is that non-flying models cannot move through other models during their movement. And also non-flying models can't move through terrain that they consider to be impassable. Finally, a model cannot end its movement on top of another model with the base on top of another model. So while a flying model might be able to, you know, realistically, it would be able to actually hover over a tank like this, you're not allowed to do this in a game of Planetfall because it, because it just stops models from getting damaged and it stops silly situations where you have to like balance a base on top of a model and so on. Okay, there's one more thing that I need to mention about the basic move actions, the cruise move and the flat out move, and that is lumbering. If a model is lumbering, such as for example this heavy crawler, then if you want to turn with it, you have to first, well, first you move wherever you're going to move. So let's just say, for example, I'm going to move this guy up an extra two inches. Now, normally, smaller models without lumbering, and even larger models if they don't have lumbering, would be able to pivot, which simply means that if the model, say this model moved up to here, you'd simply turn it to face the direction that you want it to go in, and then you would maybe continue moving up the board. However, because this model has lumbering, you have to use the Planetfall template instead to move the model. So what you do is you simply choose an edge, like maybe the back or maybe the front edge, as long as, you know, as long as you're going to be accurate with it, and then you turn it like this. And then the model can continue moving forwards, um, it can turn again by doing the same thing, and so on. Okay, finally we're going to look at one more move action that you can do that unlocks when you, when you decide um, that a squadron is going to remain stationary. And this is a special fire order called Focus Fire. Which basically means that if you decide that a model will remain stationary, or I should say a squadron will remain stationary, then you can, you can elect to have them Focus Fire, which means all their shots will be placed. And that means that they will hit on a 3+, not the standard 4+. So for example, if this squadron were to remain stationary and maybe this model is disabled or maybe you know something happened which enables them to safely fire upon, for example, this um, crawler, then I could simply say, well, they're not going to move, they're going to remain stationary and they're going to focus fire on this guy, which would mean that they would hit on three pluses. There are other things that you can do in the movement phase as well, like I mentioned earlier, ramming, and also Overwatch, which is another stationary um, move action. But because this is meant to be a basic, ga uh, basic guide to the game of Planetfall, um, I'm not going to cover these right now. I'll cover them at a later date. Okay, so that was a quick look at movement, basic movement in Planetfall. We covered the cruise move, the flat out move, and also the focus fire stationary movement action as well. As I said earlier, there are other movement um, actions that you can do in Planetfall, but those will be covered at a later date, as this is meant to be a basic introduction to the game. In the next episode of this series, I'm going to go over combat, how models shoot at each other in Planetfall. As always, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this video depending on how you felt about it, and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with videos on this channel. 
Also, don't forget to check out Fleet Signal on social media and check out fleetsignal.com as well. Okay, that's all for now. Until next time, see ya. <music>